tech ad accounts okay today's topic is manufacturing accounts okay by end of this lesson uh, students must know how to differentiate the direct and indirect costs identify direct material direct labor prime cost and factory overhead and the third one implement the work in progress into the manufacturing account okay okay first we see Okay, first we see what is the difference between a normal trading business and also manufacturing business okay what is trading business trading business a business that buy the goods and sell they don't change anything they just buy and then they sell okay this trading business normally will prepare two statements which we we already learned since year 10 uh income statement and statement of financial position okay these are the two statements the trading business uh prepare i I believe everybody know the formula income statement and statement of financial position but now we are going for manufacturing business okay for many what is a manufacturing business uh, the the companies buy raw material and convert them into the finished product after that they sell it okay that's a manufacturing business okay they do themselves and then they sell okay trading business they buy and then they sell manufacturing business they buy the raw material Okay, they will process, convert them into the finished product, and then they will sell to the market. Okay, so manufacturing business, uh, there are one special uh, accounts or statement will be there. Okay, for manufacturing business, okay, they do have an income statement and statement of financial position as same. Okay, uh, as uh, trading business, but manufacturing account will have a one special account called manufacturing account. Okay, I'll label this as manufac. Okay, we have a manufacturing account. It's a special account for. Uh, only for the manufacturing business okay now we see the element of the cost okay for manufacturing the element of the cost okay before that can we see the how they ch convert okay example this is a rubber okay this is the rubber uh, the rubber can be convert into a tire okay they convert the raw material which is the rubber uh, they will convert to a finished product okay that's called uh, manufacturing lah. they do manufacturing here okay now we want to know what are the costs involved to convert this raw material into the finished product okay first we have a direct material the direct material or the raw material are same raw material is the rubber okay uh, if you have a raw material can we straight away convert to the finished product no okay we need some labor some workers to work on it okay so we need to pay the uh, salary to the workers so the one we we include under direct labor or direct wages okay apart from a direct labor direct wages we do have uh, direct expenses okay one example of the direct expenses is royalty okay you know what is royalty right royalty is the payment that we pay for the pattern they design okay example uh, this tire designed by someone and then we need to some companies are uh, we need to pay them a royalty okay that particular royalty payment will become your direct expenses okay you take a direct material plus with direct labor plus with the direct expenses we will get prime cost we call that prime cost prime means the main the main cost okay okay after that uh, we take the prime cost plus with the factory overhead what is factory overhead indirect expenses indirect expenses to the factory okay direct material direct labor direct expenses are direct uh, expenses that we need to pay uh, whenever we run a manufacturing company and we do have a factory overheads example of the factory overheads is um, maybe uh, the rental of the factory the supervisor salary okay the direct labor is the worker who work on the man uh, manufacturing okay who work on the product is we call that direct labor okay indirect labor the supervisor the accountant of the factory okay all this we call that uh, indirect uh, wages or indirect labor okay their salary will put under factory overhead okay we plus that after that sometime uh, not all company will have but sometime few companies will have WIP WIP okay what is WIP work in progress we have a work in progress what is work in progress the work that are partly done partially done example last year we have done uh, partly okay uh, the balance work will done by uh, during this year so what we do is the last year's last year's WIP will become our WIPO work in progress opening okay we will plus the work in progress opening and we will minus the work in progress closing WIPC 
okay why we minus the uh, work in progress closing because the work haven't done so the, it will be done next year so we'll minus from this year's account will plus in the next the following years now okay i repeat again direct material plus direct labor plus direct expenses we get a prime cost take a prime cost plus with factory overhead if you have a wipo you plus and if you have a wipc you minus and then we'll get total cost that total cost we'll call cost of the production. total cost because this is the formula of to the calculate production. cost of okay. production the direct material plus direct labor plus direct expenses then plus with the direct overhead okay we have a wipo v plus wipc v minus then we get um, cost of production now. okay uh, again this is the the element of the cost uh, in the in detail uh, okay direct material uh, the keyword for direct material is a raw material remember that okay next one is a uh, direct labor direct labor or direct wages uh, is we call the wages for the people who we pay to the people who making the goods okay making the goods okay direct expenses is uh, the direct expenses the expenses that related to the uh, product indirectly la, okay directly linked to the product such as royalty or the fee that we pay to hire a special piece of accumens also we call that uh, direct expenses then the last one is uh, factory overhead factory overhead is indirect expenses all the factories indirect expenses we call factory overheads okay example rates factory heat and light factory machinery repairs and the factory uh, factory machinery depreciation all this we call factory overhead.